Hold on tight, America. The electric vehicle revolution is here, and guess what? China is leading the charge. We're not talking about some futuristic fantasy. This is happening right now. Chinese electric cars are popping up everywhere, from sleek city streets to suburban driveways. These aren't your grandma's electric cars either. We're talking about high-tech, stylish vehicles packed with the latest gadgets and gizmos. And get this, they're often cheaper than their gas-guzzling counterparts. No wonder American drivers are starting to take notice. But wait a minute, Uncle Sam isn't too thrilled about this Chinese EV invasion. Enter tariffs! The U.S. government is slapping extra taxes on these Chinese imports, hoping to slow them down. But will it work? That's the million-dollar question, folks. And today, we're diving deep into the electrifying world of Chinese EVs to find out why tariffs might not be the answer. Buckle up. It's going to be a wild ride. So, how did China become the EV powerhouse it is today? Well, it's a combination of factors that make them a force to be reckoned with. First off, the Chinese government is all in on electric vehicles. They're throwing money at the industry like it's going out of style. We're talking big-time subsidies, tax breaks, and incentives for both manufacturers and consumers. Then there's the cost advantage. China's manufacturing prowess is no secret. They've got lower labor costs, access to cheaper raw materials, and a knack for churning out products at scale. This means they can produce EVs at a fraction of the cost of their American and European rivals. But hold on, it's not just about being cheap. China is also pouring resources into innovation, particularly in battery technology. They're developing longer-lasting, faster-charging batteries that are leaving the competition in the dust. So you've got government support, lower costs, and cutting-edge technology. It's like the perfect recipe for EV domination. No wonder China is leaving its mark on the global electric vehicle market. Now let's talk about Uncle Sam's game plan, tariffs. The U.S. government, concerned about Chinese EV dominance, has decided to fight fire with, well, more taxes. They've slapped hefty tariffs on Chinese electric vehicles and their components, hoping to make them more expensive and protect American jobs in the process. The idea is that by making Chinese EVs pricier, American consumers will opt for homegrown electric options. It's a classic case of economic protectionism. But is it the right move? The Biden administration argues that these tariffs are necessary to level the playing field and prevent unfair competition from China. They claim it's about protecting American jobs and ensuring a fair shake for U.S. companies. But here's the thing about tariffs. They're like a double-edged sword. While they might protect some domestic industries, they can also have unintended consequences. And in the case of Chinese EVs, those consequences might outweigh the benefits. Let's find out why. Okay, so we've got these tariffs in place, but here's the kicker. They're probably not going to work as intended. In fact, they might even backfire on the U.S. economy. Why? Well, let's break it down. First off, these tariffs are like putting a Band-Aid on a broken bone. They don't address the underlying issues that have allowed Chinese EV makers to gain a foothold in the market. Remember those factors we talked about earlier? Government support, lower costs, innovation? Those haven't magically disappeared because of tariffs. Secondly, tariffs disrupt global supply chains. The EV industry relies on a complex network of suppliers and manufacturers worldwide. Slapping tariffs on Chinese components only hurts American companies that rely on those parts. It's like shooting yourself in the foot while trying to win a race. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, tariffs underestimate China's ability to adapt and innovate. Chinese EV makers are not just competing on price anymore. They're rapidly moving up market developing high-end electric vehicles that rival the best from Tesla and other established players. Section 5. Demand Overdrive. America's hunger for EVs outpaces tariff walls. Here's another wrench in Uncle Sam's tariff plan. Americans really want electric vehicles. The demand for EVs is skyrocketing, and it's outpacing the ability of U.S. automakers to keep up. People are fed up with sky-high gas prices and are eager to embrace a greener, more sustainable future. They're lining up to get their hands on electric cars, and Chinese manufacturers are more than happy to oblige. Even with tariffs driving up prices, Chinese EVs often remain a more affordable option compared to their American counterparts. And let's be real. In this economy, affordability matters. So while tariffs might make Chinese EVs slightly more expensive, 
they're not going to deter American consumers who are determined to go electric. The demand is there, and it's only going to grow stronger. Section 6, Global Supply Chain, Shock Tariffs Backfire, Hitting U.S. Automakers. Remember how we talked about tariffs disrupting global supply chains? Well, that's not just some abstract economic theory. It has real-world consequences for American businesses. The U.S. auto industry, despite its efforts to ramp up domestic EV production, still relies heavily on Chinese suppliers for crucial components like batteries, rare earth minerals, and other essential parts. When tariffs are imposed on these components, it drives up costs for American automakers, making their EVs less competitive. It's like trying to bake a cake with one hand tied behind your back. In essence, these tariffs aimed at hurting Chinese companies end up hurting American businesses and consumers. It's a classic case of unintended consequences, and it highlights the interconnected nature of the global economy. Section 7. Innovation Nation, China's EV Evolution, Outpaces, Tariff Tactics. Now let's address the elephant in the room, China's relentless innovation. While the U.S. is busy erecting tariff walls, China is busy building the future of the electric vehicle industry. Chinese EV makers are no longer content with being the cheap alternative. They're investing heavily in research and development, pushing the boundaries of battery technology, autonomous driving, and connected car features. They're developing solid-state batteries, exploring hydrogen fuel cell technology, and creating sophisticated software platforms that rival Tesla's autopilot system. In other words, China is playing the long game. They understand that the future of mobility is electric and autonomous, and they're determined to lead the charge. Tariffs might slow them down temporarily, but they won't stop China's relentless pursuit of EV dominance. Section 8. The European Example. A Different Approach to the Chinese EV Challenge. Now, let's take a look across the pond to see how Europe is handling the rise of Chinese EVs. Unlike the U.S., which has opted for a more protectionist approach, the European Union has taken a different route, a more nuanced and perhaps more effective one. Rather than slapping on massive tariffs, the EU has focused on creating a more level playing field through regulations and incentives. They've implemented stricter emission standards for all automakers, forcing them to accelerate their transition to electric vehicles. At the same time, they're providing substantial subsidies and tax breaks for consumers who purchase EVs, regardless of their origin. This approach encourages competition, while also supporting the growth of the overall electric vehicle market. The European example demonstrates that there are alternatives to protectionist tariffs when it comes to dealing with China's EV rise. It's about fostering competition, promoting innovation, and ultimately, giving consumers what they want affordable, high-quality electric vehicles. Section 9, Powering Up America, the real solutions for a thriving U.S. EV sector. So if tariffs aren't the answer, what can the U.S. do to compete in the electric vehicle arena? Well, it's time for a reality check and a dose of strategic thinking. Instead of trying to hold back the tide, the U.S. needs to ride the wave of EV innovation. First and foremost, it's time to invest heavily in domestic EV manufacturing, provide tax breaks, subsidies, and incentives to American companies that are developing and producing electric vehicles right here in the USA. Second, we need to close the battery technology gap. China has a significant lead in battery production and research. The U.S. needs to pour resources into developing cutting-edge battery technologies, reducing our reliance on foreign suppliers. And finally, let's make EVs more practical for everyday Americans by expanding charging infrastructure. We need a nationwide network of charging stations that are accessible, reliable, and affordable. The future of the auto industry is electric, and the U.S. has a choice to make. Embrace the change or get left behind. It's time to ditch the outdated protectionist playbook and invest in a future where American innovation and ingenuity drive the electric vehicle revolution.